Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a very quick and simple ginger beer recipe. Now this is not the traditional ginger beer by any means. This is just a little something that I came up with and I put a couple of twists on my grandmother's recipe for her ginger beer. I will share the traditional recipe later on, but I know since today is Christmas Eve and tomorrow's Christmas, I know a lot of us might be in a rush to get this done. So I wanted to show you guys how to make this within a couple of hours. So this way you can enjoy this tomorrow or even later tonight. So we're going to start off in a very large pot and I'm going to go in with some water and I'm going to cover the pot and allow that water to come up to a rolling boil. Now while that water is coming up to a boil, we're going to prep our ginger. Now I'm not using the dried ginger today, I'm going to be using the fresh ginger which is going to give this ginger beer a nice little spiciness and kick. So what I'm going to do is just grate it on my little hand grater here. You can puree it if you even wanted to. I'm just going to go ahead and grate it this way though. I peeled the ginger really well, I washed it, and I'm just going to grate it. And all of my ingredients and measurements will be in the description box down below. So you'll be able to see exactly how much ginger and how much water and all of these other items that I'm using in this recipe. Once my water comes up to a boil, we're going to start going in with all of the different flavoring agents that I'm going to use in my ginger beer today. Now remember guys, I already said this is not the traditional recipe, so please don't kill me if these things are a little bit different than what you're used to. If you want to try something different, feel free to go ahead and try this recipe. So in the water, I'm going in with a little bit of lemon peel, going in with a little bit of some orange peel, and I'm also going to add in some cinnamon sticks and some cloves, and I'm also going to go in with my ginger. Now you're going to go in with all of these ingredients and you're going to cover the pot and you're going to allow it to simmer on a medium, medium low heat for about 25 to 30 minutes. So this way the ginger has a chance to boil up in the water and release all of its juices and all of its flavor. And you want to make sure to do that so you get all of the flavor out of that ginger. I'm also going in with just a little bit of grated nutmeg. I just really like the flavor of nutmeg so I'm going in with a bit. If you wanted to omit this, feel free to do so as well. And if you wanted to omit anything else or add in anything else, feel free to use this recipe as a blank canvas to make it your own. So this is what my ginger beer concentrate looks like after about 30 minutes of boiling. As you can see, the pieces of ginger are actually translucent. That means that they've cooked down really well and they've released all of their flavor. You're going to see that the cinnamon sticks start to get a little mushy and they start to fall apart a bit. And the same goes for the orange rind and the lemon peel they tend to break down a little bit as well. So at this point, all you're gonna do is you're going to turn off the heat and you're gonna cover the pot and you're gonna let it sit for anywhere from two hours to overnight so this way this mixture can steep. The longer you let it steep, the stronger the flavor will be. I ended up letting everything sit in the pot overnight to steep just because I had the time. If you only have a couple of hours, you can feel free to only do this for about two hours though if that's all you have. So what I'm doing now is I'm pouring it through a fine mesh strainer into a little measuring cup or you could do this into a bowl just so this way we can push down on the pulp here and get all of that flavor out of it and just strain off any of the pulp because we don't really want to be drinking that as we're drinking the ginger beer. And you're going to see once you're done straining this and mashing it down, you're going to be left with this very strong and potent concentrate. So all I'm doing is pouring that concentrate into a big mason jar. I have a little drink canister here that I'm putting it in. You can put it in whatever type of container that you have. You can even mix this in a large pot or a big bowl, however you want to do it. So once I go in with that concentrate, I'm also going to go in with some water and the amount of water totally depends on how potent you want the ginger beer If you want it to be really really spicy and burning your mouth Then you're going to want to add less water and if you want it to be more on the light side You can keep on adding water until you get your desired taste I'm going to leave my exact measurement for how much water I put in in my description box down below Now once you have your ginger beer concentrate and the water mix in your big drink canister We're going to start to make the simple syrup so we can sweeten the ginger beer now, if you wanted to, you could put in the plain sugar right into that concentrate. I'll just let you know that it's going to take a long time to disintegrate. So if you melt it in here first, it'll be much easier to mix later. Now I'm just going into a little saucepan with some water and I'm going to go in with granulated sugar. If you wanted to use brown sugar for this, you can. Just know that your ginger beer is going to be very dark in color. And I'm not so much of a fan of a very, very dark ginger beer. You're just going to mix the sugar and the water on a medium heat and allow it to come up to a little bit of a simmer just until the sugar dissolves into the water. Once you see that the sugar dissolves into the water really well, then you can go ahead and turn off the heat and we can start to pour it into our concentrate and water mixture. So I have my concentrate and my water here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to stream in my simple syrup a little bit at a time 
until I get my desired taste and my desired sweetness. So all you're gonna do is keep on pouring in a little bit, mix it in, and keep on tasting until you get the right taste for you. So I got my desired taste for my ginger beer. Now at this point, it is time to go ahead and serve it up. So I have my drink canister here and I'm gonna pour it into a mason jar that I fill to the brim with ice, so this way it is nice and cold to drink. I love ginger beer when it's nice and refreshing. I don't like it warm at all. So here is my finished ginger beer. Again, this is not the traditional recipe, but by all means, give it a try if you are in a pinch for time because this comes together in no time and it has such a beautiful flavor. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and leave those beautiful comments down below. I hope you guys have a safe, a beautiful, and a delicious holiday season and I'll see you guys again very soon.